Hello, and welcome to the Home Rehabilitation Network. Uh, I'm your host, Alex Grichewin. I'm a four-time award-winning respiratory therapist in the state of Maryland. Um, highly recommended by uh, many pulmonologists as well as the top recommended pulmonologist in the country. Uh, we're here to go over just a couple things. Some people are asking me uh, how we rehabilitate people from their home uh, through their TV or through their mobile devices and stuff like that. But I, I guess people were having a, uh, a question about the devices that we use. So. This is a very common device. It's an incentive spirometer. Its volume max load is around 400 milliliters. Um, just to tell you a little bit about it, so on the incentive spirometer, you have what you call flow meter. Okay, that's that box on the right side, okay, or on my left. And this right here is what we call a piston chamber, and there's the piston itself, okay? The diaphragm on top of the piston is where you measure it from. So a lot of people are given this in the hospitals, but they aren't really shown what to do and how to do it. And that's what we do at, uh, you know, the Home Rehabilitation Network or, uh, you know, uh, the homerehabnetwork.com. So if you want to check us out, go ahead and check us out and like us on this page if you can. Uh, anyways, so to go over this really quick, if, if I see patients that are about, um, I don't know, five foot three to six foot or something like that, and I see the volumes are around 500. That, that's a volume good enough for a, if I see somebody's volume around 500 or 250 milliliters, that's a pretty good volume for a chickmunk, but it's not good enough for a human being. You see, your lungs are actually really huge. So when you breathe shallow, it's what we call shallow tidal volume, and you breathe shallow, your lungs are only opening up partially, right? So if you were to take a, uh, okay, you know what, this is, this is different, but just, just understand me on this, it's a good analogy. If, if I was baking bread, and I, the ingredients asked for one cup of sugar, but I only had a quarter cup of sugar, will that bread turn out the same way? No, of course not. The, the yeast won't be fermented the right, you know, properly. Uh, the bread wouldn't turn out the right way. Well, if you're only putting in a smidge or an eighth of volume of oxygen into a huge body, you know, uh, it's not going to work the right way. You have to breathe four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, if you're only breathing shallow, you know, that means instead of opening your lungs all the way up, your, your maximum volume is only going this much. Well, you have to breathe four, five, six, seven, eight times to equal one good breath. Meaning, if you ever noticed, uh, you, you know, somebody's breathing really fast, because their lung volumes are very, they're shot. You know, is there a fix? Yeah, there is a fix. You know, the intercostal muscles, the muscles in between the ribs and the diaphragm, those are the muscles actually responsible for opening up the, the lungs. There's no muscles in the lungs necessarily, at least ones that you can't control. So, uh, you know, when, when somebody breathes in deep, you're relying on your diaphragmatic muscles and your intercostal muscles. We have, you, you have these 10 intercostal muscles, right? So if I breathe shallow like this, and let's say I've been breathing like that for years, well, I might be, you know, it's like partial repetition. If I took a weight, you know, I took a weight just like so, and I'm only curling it partially, am I going to get a good workout to that bicep? No, of course not. It's not rocket science. If I'm curling partially, okay, I'm not going to get a good workout. I need full repetitions, right? Same thing with breathing. Yes, same thing with breathing. But the one problem I see a lot of people think this is, is an exerciser. It is not an exerciser. If anybody told me that, I'd tell them to get the money back from the school they went to. No joke, okay? I have rehabbed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, okay? I've been in the field for a very, very long time. I've got multiple awards in this. Trust me on this one. This does not exercise you. You're given this because it's a coach. And it even says that, it's, it's a coach. You're trying to get bigger volumes, you know? You wanna see where your volumes are at. This is a measuring tool. Only look at it as a measuring tool. If I took this apart, which I have before, if, if I take this apart and I try to look at where does it create resistance? Like, for instance, if I was working out a bicep, I, I put a weight on it, right? So I can build muscle. But let's say I have no weight in my arm and I'm gonna curl, you know, to gain muscle mass. Am I gonna build muscle on that bicep with no weight on my hand? No. <laughs> does that make sense? This does not exercise you. It's a measuring tool. 
okay? That's what we use it as, to exercise your lungs. You can't use like a dumbbell or something for your intercostal and diaphragmatic muscles. You have to use something like this, or coffee straws, or uh, going into water, keeping the water level above the shoulder, uh, shoulder height. That's actually a Navy SEAL trick. Um, it's not a trick, it's just an exercise. Uh, but if you keep the water level above the shoulder, lower than a chin, you take a deep breath in, using the water to compress on your thorax, and that's your weight. You need a weight. This is a respiratory muscle trainer. It's from PN Medical. We sell these on our website. Uh, we, we don't overcharge anybody. You know, we want to make sure everyone gets the right equipment when they need it. You know, I'm a guy that knows a lot about different techniques, but they want to see how this, so people are asking how this is used. And you can go on PM Medical website and they'll actually show you how these are used. Uh, we tend on, uh, with HRN, uh, that's the, the home rehab network, we tend to do things a little more aggressively, but safe, okay? So uh, if you look at PM Medical and you, then you look at the way we do the exercises, the reason why we get big results is because, we, you know, we, we develop the videos uh, for each patient. You know, it's not like stock video. We develop each video specifically designed for each person's, you know, complication. So uh, when we do respiratory muscle training and I find out somebody, let's say the, uh, our CMO, uh, Dr. Naveed, uh, asked, uh, said that this patient's volumes are too low. We need to work with respiratory muscle training to pick up their volume. You know, uh, if, for instance, do me a favor right now. Take a deep breath in. Okay, so 30% of that oxygen went to your brain, 20% went to your heart. Now, that's, a, that's, a, that's average, okay? Um, when I can't, when I'm breathing in shallow, okay, I'm still getting that oxygen into the blood. The only thing is I'm not giving a lot of surface area, so there's not a lot of oxygen deposition, you know, with every breath. Uh, and if I'm breathing in shallow, right, I have to breathe four, five, six, seven times to equal one good breath. Does that make sense? So if I see somebody's volume, when we do uh, the tele-rehabilitation, when I see somebody's volume and they're low, and they should be way up to around, I always say 2,000 is a good safe zone. People like to say 1,000, that's fine. 2,000, I like to say to stay safe, stay around 2,000 milliliters, okay? Now I don't expect somebody this tall to breathe 2,000. It, it's all based on height. It's the ideal body weight and height. But if I did this, so I see a lot of people making this mistake on the Senes barometer. So watch me. I see this mistake. What are you doing? That's not correct. You do not do it that way. That is not proper technique. Technique in everything, in a sport, everything, it's technique. Technique is an art, okay? The same thing with respiratory and pulmonary rehab. Okay, we do online pulmonary rehab. You know, we live stream to people's homes or we develop the program on a DVD disc and we shoot it out to people's, you know, uh, to, their, uh, to their home. We'll mail it out to them. You know, we'll call people out by the name so they realize it is personalized. Anyways, if I see somebody's volumes that low, so, and they're doing something like that, I'm gonna say your, your technique is way off, it's wrong. You wanna measure. Our goal is to get up to 2,000, okay? So I'm gonna measure their volumes first. So this is what I do. So I tell them to exhale first. Purse let breathe, okay? Purse let breathe out for four seconds or more. When you evacuate all the air out of your lungs, then place this, attach your teeth, seal it with your lips, and then, and only then, breathe in. So watch me. Notice when I inhale and I can't inhale anymore, I'm still gonna try to do more, okay? Don't, when you reach in, people tend to pull it out too early. Don't ever do that, okay? Breathe in until that diaphragm starts coming down on its own, okay? Keep the, the marker in the flow meter box, okay, in the smiley face. You can keep it on the higher side, it's fine, it's a stamp, all right? It's not exact, all right? But it gives you an average. 
I learn from people that can hold their breath for like 20 minutes. That's how my techniques are very, very good. They're very good because I learn from people that can do these amazing things. And I take those techniques and I implore them to people who have a hard time breathing. That's it. It's not complex. Now, you saw mine go up to 4,000. It's actually not 4,000. It's actually way above that. I hit 4,000, but I couldn't go any higher. Okay? So, needless to say, my volumes that I'm able to inhale with, it's fantastic. It's great. Now, let's say that wasn't the case. Let's say I was only able to get, uh, you know, 500 to 1,000 to 1,500, and I want to be up to 2,000. Well, this wouldn't get me up the volume. It might help just a smidge, but it doesn't give you resistance. Your lungs are stiff. When, you know, you need it, it's, a, it's like, it's almost like a 40 or 50 pound weight inside your lungs. You need to open it. You need the muscles responsible for opening up your lungs. So, I tell people to use this, coffee straws, different types. It all depends on the person, you know, on the, on the individual. I highly recommend these. So, these are about $42.95 uh, to about $45. You know, sometimes you see some people ch uh, charging, you know, $60, $70. But we, we, we only charge like, uh, I think it was like $42.95 on our site. But anyways, and that's very inexpensive. Trust me. For the right tools, very inexpensive, especially when you want to rehab your lungs. So I like to tell people set these from three over three. It's a good starting weight, okay? Remember, you need a weight, different type of resistance. When people use this, I see people doing this. That's partial repetition. Remember what we learned? You need full repetition to work out the whole muscle. So I tell people four seconds inhalation time, four seconds exhalation time. Okay, you want to keep some water with you, your mouth's going to get dry, it's not a big deal. All right, but when you breathe in, pull your chest up, deep, 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 okay? Remember, if you breathe shallow, you might be working one or two intercostal muscles. You have 10 you need to work out and a diaphragm, okay? Full repetitions, four seconds. Okay, if I breathe shallow, maybe one or two intercostal muscles. I breathe in a little deeper, you know that much, maybe four or five. I'm not working all 10 out. If I go as deep as I possibly can, making it last for four seconds, I'm working all 10 out. That's full repetition. You'll see a big increase. You will have a decrease in your work of breathing. You have a bigger increase in volume intake, okay? They're giving more area to the lungs for oxygen deposition. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, okay? And uh, if you want to go on our website and probably, uh, you know, have us make a, uh, a therapy program for your loved one or yourself, we, we only charge an application fee. It's only $39.99, okay? That's right. There's no monthly fee or anything. Everyone gets that messed up. We, we, we just design videos based on your complications, and you, re, and you get rehabilitated from your home. You know, and the success rates are the identical as going into a facility. No joke. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's it.